So here we are now in the true home of personal model aviation. Uh, it's an exciting place to be. Uh, what can this new partnership between AMA and Aero News do through AMA Drone Report to push forward the agenda, the excitement, and uh, the enjoyment, if you will, of one of the most exciting aspects of aviation? Right, and you know, you bring up a good point. The hobbyist community, the AMA community, we're the breeding ground of a lot of these commercial interests. A lot of people get their spark for aviation as a hobbyist, whether as a kid or later in life, and that leads into great careers, whether it's careers in UAS or it's careers in full-scale aviation or engineering. So we have a very important role in this new budding community. The other is we have a tremendous safety program and a safety record to back that up, and I think there's I don't think I know. There's a lot of great points in there that this new community can really learn from. So we want to be open and we want to help educate not only hobbyists, but those who want to take this into the commercial world of learn from us. We are open and we want to help keep the airspace safe. AMA has been around for 80 years. Started out with three flight went into control line with models like the Oba St. Clair. The Good Brothers introduced RC. We then introduced a lot of other new types of modeling disciplines with helicopters and electrics. And this new generation of multi-rotors, that's just part of our growing process. This is a big budding industry. So on one hand, it's new to us, but seeing new technologies and new platforms being introduced, that's part of this culture. So. Who knows what will be the next generation of modeling and aviation in 10 years, but this is what's happening now, and the FA will describe it as almost as significant as the Wright brothers or space exploration. This is a big deal. It's always exciting to see these new changes, and we have two options. We could stick our head in the sand and hope it goes away, or we can embrace it, and we could take this new community and try to educate them on how to be safe and responsible. But also with that, Let's not forget about the hobbyist community. You know, even though there's a lot of great stuff in the commercial world, the hobbyist community is, again, that cradle, the breeding ground of that next generation of commercial operators. So let's embrace what's going on commercially, but let's also allow the recreational community to continue to thrive. Well, Chad, we appreciate working with you so far up to this point. We've had a ball with it. Uh, sooner or later, we're going to do something to take you off, and we apologize in advance for that. But more important, we're looking forward to working with what has been so far just a truly professional group of people with their hearts in the right place. We thank you for that. Glad to help. Thanks again. Yes. Aero TV is brought to you by... Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today.